Ask any busy business person of what they'd love more of, and I guarantee you they'd tell you they'd love more time. Whether it's more time working on the business to achieve more levels of growth, whether it's more time with their friends or family, whether it's more time for their health, or just more times enjoying their activities and hobbies outside of the business. I guarantee they'd love more time. The truth is, is that time manages itself well. It's 24 hours in a day, seven days in a week, 365 days in a year. Time manages itself well. It's just that as business people, we have to manage our priorities during the day to ensure that we're working on the highest priority activities to get the greatest results within their business. The key here is, and the lesson here is, is that the lion's share of your results is gonna come from a couple of strategic activities that you do within your business. It's gonna come from one or two activities, not a million and one things that you do during the day. When we first met Matt, a plumber from Sydney, he was tired and stressed and overworked and worn out purely from the amount of hours that he was working in his business. When he came to us, there was two key phrases that he just kept saying over and over and over again. I don't know how, and I don't have time for that. Before we could even think about growth and scaling his business, we had to get all that under control and get his time under control and understand where that mindset came from so we could put strategies in place to be able to change it. There's one key simple strategy that we implemented which increased productivity and really drove performance through him and his business. And that was unpacking his week to understand where all his time went. For a whole two weeks, we got him to track every single minute of the day to understand what were all the common trends where he was spending his whole time. The reason why he got him to do this is to get him to help him understand where did all his time go? Was he spending his time on high priority activities which drove performance through the business? And what were all the things which were low in value and low in priority which weren't generating any additional result within the business. After two weeks, Matt was absolutely amazed at all the things that he was spending his time on, which added no value. So what we did then was grouped all those things up and put them into the stop basket so he didn't have to worry about them anymore. He was then able to package all the things up which could be done by his team and he put measures in place to be able to delegate all those things down to his team. He worked and moved some to his 2IC. He moved some areas over to his bookkeeper. He moved some areas down onto his admin assistant to be able to help him out. And after working through that whole delegation process over a period of time, that freed up a ton of hours in Matt's week to be even able to focus on business growth, generating more revenue, focused on bottom line profits, and having actually more time freedom from his business. After focusing on this and refining and refining and refining, over a 12 month period, Matt doubled his revenues, doubled his profitability in his business, and he actually took five weeks of holiday in a 12 month period, purely by focusing on this one strategy of unpacking his week, getting rid of all the low value stuff, and only focusing on the key activities which drove performance through his business. So if you want more time, get stuck in and unpack your week, get rid of all the low value stuff and only focus on those things which generate the results in your business today.